And you can scratch, you can scratch your back, and point. This cost me six dollars wholesale. <laughs> Nothing stops our reporters. Last week, for example, we forced our staff writer, Barbara Walters, to go to Paris to cover the fashion openings. Now, today is the day that pictures of these clothes are released to the public, and we wanted to have them first. Barbara is with me right now to give us a filmed report. Would you tell me, was this a very trying experience for oh, you? Oh, Frank, it was awful. I mean, first of all, every day I had to go and look at fashion shows. Oh. And then I had to have lunch at Maxime's and drink champagne. Oh. And then I had to smell all the perfume at Dior. Oh. I mean, it was so trying that I took absolutely the very last plane I could to get back here today. Well, we welcome you back. And seriously, will you uh, give us your real story? Are the Paris fashions so different from ours, and why all the fuss about them? Well, you know, I kind of felt, too, before I went, that there was an awful lot of noise made over not too much, and a little chauvinist chauvinistically. I think, what did they have that we didn't have? Mm. But now that I've been there, there's a, there's a whole completely different attitude in what they're doing. The French designers can make one dress, or a dress that doesn't sell to anyone. We have to make it in the hundreds and thousands. So it's kind of like making an experimental car. They can be very daring and very colorful and kind of mad. And this is where the new ideas come from. Mm. And then they also can, uh, can do the sort of things that we can't financially do. Hand beading, little tiny details. This would just be much too expensive for us. Did you buy anything for yourself? I couldn't afford very much. I bought this fang, which is <laughs> the newest fad. And it's something I think is terribly important. This is a nail ring. And if you're very chic and you're very rich, you have one for each finger. Thank you, Barbara Walters, for Thank all you. that hard work at Maxime's. <laughs> this is today on NBC.